President Trump criticizing Vice President Kamala Harris's one-day trip to El Paso, Texas, during his weekend rally in Ohio. Kamala Harris, your vice president, only went to the border yesterday for the one simple reason, because I announced that I was going next week, and I am, at the request of Texas Governor Abbott and the Border Patrol. I'm going to the border next week. Oh, if I didn't do that, I don't know if she was ever going to go. I really don't know if that was she ever going to go. Joining me now, Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich. Attorney General, your reaction to the vice president's trip, was it just for show? I said earlier it was theater to make it seem like the Biden administration is actually doing something about the border crisis. Yeah, I guess uh, if you consider New York theater, this would be kind of like the Q, uh, community showcase because it was not only all for show and theater, it was not even that good. Uh, she was there for less than half a day. She didn't meet with the agents on the ground. She didn't meet with local officials. You know, I invited Vice President uh, Biden more than three months ago, about three months ago, to come here and talk to us, talk to law enforcement, the sheriffs, people on the ground that are seeing the dramatic impact of literally it's expected millions of people to cross the border legally a huge spike in fentanyl you were referring to earlier we know that just this year through may we've seen more fentanyl seized in this country than there was at the at the border than there was in all of last year we're actually seeing prices drop now which shows you that the cartels are taking advantage of the situation the system is getting overwhelmed and the Biden administration is playing games. I mean, they are systematically dismantling our immigration system. Mm -hmm. And, you know, us Americans are paying the cost fiscally and with an increase in crime. We'll talk about the possibility or rather the likelihood that Title 42 is uh, taken away, which, again, would increase the in influx of illegal immigrants into this country. Yeah, Dagan, I'm not sure what the Biden, what more the Biden administration can do to dismantle our immigration system. Uh, you know, they, uh, under Title VIII, you know, we have a lawsuit right now that we're waiting for a federal judge to finally decide. But the Title VIII requires that if someone is ordered to be deported, they shall be deported within 90 days. There's 1.2 million people in this country with deportation orders. We know here in Arizona there are literally people being released with felonies that are not being picked up with ICE. So what the Biden administration is doing is they are systematically uh, stopping ICE from detaining criminals. We've seen the detainers go down from about 10,000 a month last year now to about 2,500. So these, that means that there are dangerous individuals being released into our community, and that's a ticking time bomb. When you combine that with their uh, stopping building the border wall, rescinding the Remain in Mexico policy, you know, what they've done with uh, the public charge rule and trying to give benefits to people in this country illegally, and then you just mentioned Title 42, what they are essentially doing is just throwing, not only throwing open the borders, but giving people incentives to come here. And and the problem with that is that, look, here in Arizona, just right down the street from where I'm at, there is a hotel in a luxury area in Scottsdale, Arizona, where up to 2,000 individuals will be uh, held in a detention center. There's been no coordination with local law enforcement or the local community. And so they literally are turning luxury hotels now into detention centers uh, all over this country. And so it, it's chaos. Uh, 